Hello everyone, my name is Tony Derrick and welcome to the Create Together Club. Halfway through, halfway through, have we all enjoyed it so far? I hope so. It's been quite interesting. We've done lots of techniques, um, a variation on different mediums to use and texture and background. But as you know, you have got seven days, so you still have a lot more days to come. So each day at one o'clock, you will get the inspiration using the very new stamp. A note to say, so if you are part of the club, everyone should have their stamp now. And don't forget the videos never go away. So you're always going to be able to go back and watch them. And a quick one for you too. Also, Nathan spends a lot of time putting those videos together for you. And as you can see in there, you can see in detail the design he makes. So I would encourage you to go and have a look at those videos as well. And maybe pause them and try and replicate them in your own way, own colour, own style, own design. There are about six or seven cards on each video for you to go and get even more inspiration. So we are oozing inspiration for you. If you would like to join the club, the Create Together Club, all you need to do is go to the How to Craft Network and pop in Create Together. And you can join at any point. If you want to wait for the year and wait to see all three stamps, then you can do that stock permitting uh, if you want to join at the second stamp you can do that we will send you the first and the second stamp but for those of you who have already joined which there is lots of you it took us three days to get them out of the door um, you are always going to get that lovely surprise and always be ready to go with the inspiration from me here in studio seven days worth of inspiration two projects in each show 14 makes all to give away all you need to do is pop a comment underneath this video and i will be posting out all of the makes made in the create together event super cool let's say hello to my friends oh if you're not a subscriber click that subscribe button and if you want to get the notifications when we are live there is a little bell as well look at i got caught in the wind today with the dog rather windy today let's say hello to our friends hi nola hi phil kathy carol Roxy Lee, Lynn, Wendy, Jan, Tracy, Amanda, Kay, Wendy Dello. Hi, sweetheart. I hope you're well. I know you've got your stamp. I hope you're being creative with it. Karen Lone, Shirley Ramsey, Carol. Lots of you on, as always. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. I do, would hate to think I'm stood here for nothing, but I'm not because I know you all come and say hi. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Myra. So in today's studio, we're going to do uh, one which is quite technique based. So you saw yesterday's was quite paper piecing, chop those pieces of card up and build them together. You can always go back and watch them. And if you're waiting for the full week's worth of inspiration and are going to cherry pick the shows, then you can do that as well. And you can also mute me if you don't want to listen to me. But in today's studio, we're going to do a technique based card and a very pretty card as well. So first of all, let's crack straight on into some inspiration as you all know i am live tomorrow over on create and craft so it were it is a pre-record for you tomorrow so you have a create together event studio tomorrow still at one o'clock i have worked my butt off shall i say this week to do so many pre-records so nobody is left out so if you're not going to port sunlight you're still going to get that inspiration on saturday so you can still play and have some fun. We don't like to leave you out. So tomorrow, one o'clock, Friday, one o'clock, Saturday, one o'clock and Sunday, one o'clock. OK, so enjoy them because it's really it has been epic getting them done. And as soon as I come out of studio here now, I've got to start loading the van for the create uh, for the Stamping Together Festival at the weekend as well. Honestly, how I'm not grey, I have no idea. <laughs> So tomorrow I'm on Create and Craft, 7.30, this is the lamination. I know you're all waiting for it. Please be patient. I'm not sure if Create and Craft have loaded it yet. 7.30 in the morning and 4.30, okay? Just the two shows. There is a lot of stock, but they'll only let me have two because lamination absolutely flies, and I know a lot of you collect them. 7.30, set your alarms, guys, set your alarms. I think there might be some discount in and amongst by three, save 10% in the live hour. Fingers crossed to get it right, so we'll see how it goes. Shirley, you are very welcome, sweetheart, and I do it for the likes of you, lovely. And everybody else, you know, I want to keep the love of craft alive. And as you notice now, I'm thinking, what am I doing? Right, sticky ink pad. <laughs> Let's, first of all, let me show you the stamp. So this is the stamp that you all got. A note to say, 
that large typewriter with all of those embellishments and sort of textury backgrounds you've been asking me for months and months and, and probably even 12 months for masculine type um, stamps or cards well I think I've done it in this one I've shown you so many variations of how you can I'm saying I'm showing you so many variations. You haven't actually seen the pre-records, have you? So it feels like you've seen them all, but you haven't. You've still got some great cards to come. But um, gents cards as well. But again, you can make these very beautiful. And I'm going to do a beautiful, pretty card right now as well. So that's the stamp. You should all have it. And if you want to join now, you can join now. We'll send the stamp out today or tomorrow. So I'm going to use my typewriter. I shall cut the state of my stamp here. Look at this. Somebody's been busy. So you get a... You get a feel of what I've been doing with this, haven't you? So let's go ahead and get this one stamped out. Now I'm going to totally step out of my comfort zone here. Well, not totally, but a little bit. You all know how much I love my gold embossing. I really don't step out of it a little bit, unless I'm using the wows, which have got the mix in, because I absolutely adore those. But I'm going to use the blue thirsty brush. If I tip it upside down, can see that there? The blue thirsty brush powder today because we can and if it don't work it'll be gold can i buy the set sheila if you want to join the event it's 29.99 sweetheart and it's for the year and we just send you the stamps and they're a nice little surprise throughout the year because you do forget um so all you need to do is go to create together club uh, purchase it we'll send this one out and then you'll get the remaining ones for the rest of the year as well you can't just buy this stamp though it's sort of like a club where we are creative together the whole point of the club is for me to get everybody crafting again and get back into the love of craft so you all have to come and say hi you all have to come and watch me and maybe try the techniques do your own thing with it if you want to but the whole create together is exactly what i wanted it to do create together so you have to have the full thing unfortunately um what's well, not unfortunate it's brilliant you'd like buying two stamps and getting some free so i'm not going to apologize and we have lots of people in our club now and i'm hoping as the year goes and we get more people joining the club and i'm hoping next year when this one's done and we do it again because i'm hoping to do it again because it's been so successful we have even more people joining in anti-static bag onto my white cardstock ink up your stamp let's press it down get all of that detail on there i'm just going to do it one more time it is a clear embossing ink pad it's just that mine's dirty and my stamp was probably dirty, but it's okay because I'm going to use the blue. So Paula's saying, how do we access Nathan's videos? Just go to the channel and it's pop them live. If they're not live, they will be there. Don't worry about it. Me and Nathan have already spoken about popping those videos on for you. They'll be at the top and they're just about a minute 30 each. So you can pause the video as you go along. So they're just at the top of the channel, fingers crossed. So let's get some embossing on here. I'm going to give this a shake actually, so we activate the glitter and the embossing as well. Oh my gosh, it's very blue. I did say we'd be stepping out of our comfort zone. Yikes. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. <laughs> It's very nice. I should really just, you know, go for it sometimes. I really should because when I do it, I thoroughly enjoy it. And I actually like the card at the end as well. But it's stuck in a rut. Stuck in a rut. I need to get a grip. I need to get a grip with my craft. So let's um, heat set this one. This is lovely. A bit bright, but it's lovely. If you like your bright colours, you're going to absolutely adore this. We've we'll popped the links on there for you. So if you want to check those out, you can. I'm just getting my gun hot here. And as that powder starts to change...
Sorry, I just hold it in one place there. Too busy reading the comments. It gets sparklier and sparklier as you heat set it. And because it's got that glitter in there, I'm making sure I absolutely seal it so it grabs that glitter. So all of the makes, all of the makes I am making in this event will be given away to 14 people. All you need to do is pop some comments underneath each video and I'll pick 14 people. You have to pay postage though. I'm joking, you don't. There we go. I'm joking. I do give stuff away sometimes. Right, let's... Um, I'm in one of their moods today, can you tell them? I'm proper wind-up merchant today. So I'm just going to pop some of this lovely blue oxide faded jeans. And I'm just going to enhance with the same sort of colour-ish. I'm just going to add the blue in and this is going to give us sort of a grey typewriter. Oh, I didn't heat set that very well, did I? It's not dry. Have I heat set? Oh, yeah. I'm just dropping that sort of oxide colour in there to give me this lovely... grey tone on this typewriter. You see that there? There we go. And I'm just going to add a little bit of a, just to make it look like it's a little bit curly, curvy on the front. This is just the feathering technique where you sort of drag. You see that there? There we go. Oh, yeah, I've got a great update for you as well, everybody. The brushes are here next week. My gosh, the brushes are here next week. You can all beat me up at some point. I don't mind. I get beaten every single day. <laughs> Somebody beats me up in some way or another. So, you know, I was just saying that when I was doing one of my pre-records, I mentioned something and I said, oh, you're all going to be throwing your slipper at, <laughs> the, slipper at the telly now. I've said that. I have to wait for that pre-record. So I get slippers thrown at me, all sorts thrown at me. Oh, Roxley, I can't be doing that. To be honest <laughs> Roxley, I don't know. I can't be. I tried to be smart then saying I can't tell you it's a super secret, top secret, but it's not, I can't remember. Oh, I've slept since then, Moxley. Sorry, darling. <laughs> oh. I'm just cutting this out, and as you've seen from previous demo, I absolutely cut off those knobbly bits because my cutting's not the best. I might even actually cut this paper away. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> oh. Tell you. It's funny as well, because obviously my son's off school. And every time I walk from studio back into the front of house where offices are, my son's hidden somewhere with a Nerf gun. <laughs> and if I don't get one on the bottom or the back, because he knows he's not allowed to do it at faces, Nathan gets one. <laughs> so if all staff are on standby, because my son's in the unit with a Nerf gun. Honestly, he couldn't make it up. We are so professional. I, I do promise you we are a professional company. <laughs> 
Amanda says, have I been on sauce today? I've had an orange. <laughs> Promise you I haven't. <laughs> right, so piece of white cardstock here. So in that very set, come on, come on, back to, <laughs> back to the inspiration. In this set, you get those lovely like alphabet letters all like going funny. You get the splats and the circles and I haven't yet used this pretty butterfly. So I'm just going to take the butterfly. I'm just going to pop this around the back of this card. <laughs> just creating sort of a butterfly border. Now, you're probably not going to see half of this by the time I've created the card, but I'm just going to edge the, edge the edge of my card. And I'm not being very formal with it. Just going all the way around. I'm looking forward to my lamination shows as well. It's been a while since I've done lamination. I'm so excited about it. And I know which ones are going to sell out first as well. Gosh. And they have all the stock as well, so... I can sit back and know that once it's sold out, I can have an early bath. Unless it goes absolutely crazy and TV bully me into more. We'll see. We will see. So you can see you've got that lovely pattern background in there. Now, another way to sort of decorate your card as well is if you wanted to, you could sort of do the butterflies connect. This is just another technique. I'm not going to do it in here. But if you wanted to, if you connected the wings on the butterfly and then the exterior would be like a border. And if you paint it in the same color as what you've painted your typewriter or something, it would look really pretty like it's a 3D one. So if you connect the butterflies when you stamp them like so, so the wings are connected, you would have an exterior border which you could paint in, which would look rather, rather nice. So. Let's just move this out of the way. I have done some work ahead of time here, guys. So, you know my all-time favourite stamp from Pretty Penny? is this beautiful penny. You all bought this one when we did the half-price event. I have done two, and I've just coloured them in the same blue. Can we see this here? From our typewriter. But I did do it three times, and I've cut away one of the flower heads here, which is this big one here. Albeit I did miss a, a, a petal. I cut away one of the petals by mistake. So it's a little bit sparse, is this? It's missing a big petal here. But, <laughs> but whatever stamp or die you've got in your stash, you know you could be a little bit more creative. So let's have some fun. I'm going to pop this flat onto here. Oh, somebody's in isolation. Every cloud has a silver line. Is that so you can craft? Uh, down to making my ten last 10 wedding invites, 450 sunflowers and 200 pieces of thirsty brush foliage. Wow, that's incredible. I'm just going to pop this onto here. No border today. I want the typewriter to stand proud today. I'm no border today. Not two times on the ceiling if you want me. In my case, ten. Because I'm deaf as well as blind. Deaf as well as blind. What am I like? I'm painting myself in a great way here. And I'm not... I'm not deaf. I'm a little bit blind. I need to go get my eyes tested, but, you know. Right, so let's start to construct our pretty card. So, I'll just... so I always play before I start to fix anything in place. Think about where you're going to place everything first and then when you're happy you've got the composition you like as a crafter
And then this one I'm going to double pad where it's going to sit in the centre. Looking really pretty. I'm not sure about the the blue embossing and I think that's just because I'm stepping out of my comfort zone and I, I guess sometimes when I say to you, go give it a try, go on give it a try, you might surprise yourself. Well that's what I'm doing today. I've surprised myself. <laughs> I don't like it. No, I'm only joking. I actually do like it. I'm just not into the bright at the moment, but I really do need to, you know, um, try different things. I really do. And I'm just popping this typewriter in the centre. I'm just going to lift out a second just to show you overhead. But it really, where do you want to put it? Composition wise, it's totally all cold. I think normally, you know, I wouldn't do centre, but today, I might just come down a bit actually. And then, because we've cut this one, didn't I, from the same set, just going to pop a pad under there to stop that from sinking. I know, Jackie, I will. I did attempt to do it twice, but um, on both times, once I got a bit frightened because I've not had my jab. I have had my jab now, so I really haven't got an excuse. And then this one here... I'm just going to pop straight onto the top to decorate our sort of typewriter here. Can we see here? So we've got this sort of like. And then I've just got some of that lovely foliage from the Just the Note, you know, the torn paper die here, just in white. And this is just to sort of build a little bit of composition on our card so it's not all about just st the stamp and the die. We have texture too. Oh, Roxy Lee says it looks gorgeous in the blue embossing. Okay, I'm going to leave it if you like it. Thank you. I'm just popping some of them lovely, like, naked twigs I was telling you about. So this is just sort of breaking our pattern up. You can't really see it on, you might be able to see it better when I stand up, but this is just breaking that design up, very raw in design. But again, this would look beautiful. I mean, I've just popped that in there, that twig there, and I thought to myself, my gosh, this would look incredible in oranges and brown tones, you know, for the autumn months with these raw twigs. So I've done it in blue today, but my gosh, you could do replicate it in so many different colours you really wanted to you really could i'm just going to pull that on there as well onto my typewriter so it's not there we go so i've got like a lovely cluster going on there and then i have a happy birthday which i'm just going to put up a little tag banner in as it's a small banner i don't have a punch for this one and then a little bit big let's just make it a little bit shorter They have, Wendy, the extra flowers have toned the typewriter down. I'm pleased I've done it now. I like it now. I do like it now, guys, I do. And then I have these glass. Now, I showed you the pink ones, didn't I, the other day? You can't really see them here. But they're like glass beads. They're beautiful. And these are a blue tone. These are all coming soon. They are actually, I don't think these ones are actually on the web yet. But let me just, let's just pop some in and around our work. I have found a new thing I love and it's these little glass AB gems. They look like pieces of glass. I cannot tell you, I've never seen anything like them. And you know what, when I chose them on the pictures, I was just expecting like AB gems, which we all have in our stash already. But because I'm getting that fabulous storage, I thought, well, if people really do want to collect and get the storage full, Maybe I'll put that on the... um, then I'm going to get all of the range because I appreciate, you know, not everybody's going to have them, either. But when they came, I'm like, my gosh, these are really pretty, really pretty. So I'm just going to pop three up there and then I'm just going to pop one, 
two, three down here too. Really pretty. And how I lived without this tool, Shirley, I have no idea. Thank you very much. And they've got a blue undertone. Well, they've got a pink undertone as well. Blue and pink undertone, which is very fresh. So let's just pop these to one side. You see, as you can see, these haven't gone into my storage yet. I don't actually know. Have I got my storage here? Oh, no. Maybe I'll show you next week's storage as well. I'll show you what it is. So that's card number one. I know it took a little bit of time, that one, but it's worth it, isn't it? It's so worth it. So there we go. So I've done it in blue because I felt like, you know, can't do everything pink. So that sort of um, butterfly border is really tying it all together. I feel like it might have been quite plain if we did not put that butterfly border on. But I really like that one now. What do we all think? So, Roxley, I don't sell the pickup tool. My friend who's actually on now, Shirley, bought me it. Um, and I think Shirley has mentioned before where she got it from. So, Shirley, can you just let everybody know where you got it from? I know you've asked me to buy to do one, Stamps Buy Me one, and I may do one in the future. But really, I think they're pretty inexpensive anyway. Shirley will let you all know. And that's a lovely card. Thank you so much, Nathan. Right, let's move on to our second one. Whilst I get my bits and pieces out for my second one, Again, have a look at some lovely um, cards from our design team. And don't forget, these videos are live on YouTube. So if you want to pause them yourself and create those layered looks, those stencil looks, which Karen's done as well, you can pause them and recreate them in your own time. I'll see you in a second. Maybe Shirley's popped on there that she got it from um, eBay. I'm not on eBay, unfortunately, but somebody else has popped Amazon on there as well. So go and have a check out. I'm not sure of any other brands that really do. Um, but I have to say this one's brilliant. Right, next card. Totally different, okay? So that one's like a layered up design. This one's going to be like a kaleidoscope card. So you know how we do like the spotlight stamping normally, and we normally do it in the sort of like configuration of squares, all symmetrical. Today I'm going to show you how to put a bit of a twist on that design. So if you've not seen this technique before, I haven't created it by the way, it's called, I believe, spotlight stamping. But there are so many ways that you can change it up and make it your own, okay? So you can stamp onto shapes and twist them up. You can stamp onto squares and, and do the design and I'll show you that now. So what you need to do to create this card, let me just show you first. So you need a mat and layer in one size, a mat and layer in another size, a mat and layer in another, and you can do as many as you want. I've got four here, you could do six, 12, 18, four hearts with mat and layers, four circles with mat and layers, four ovals with mat and layers, it really doesn't matter. They just have to have the mat and layers, okay? But in it doesn't matter how many times you do it either. So what I'm going to do is just move these out of the way. So I'm sorry if you do know this technique, but probably there will be somebody on who maybe doesn't. So I'm just going to take all four pieces of white, okay? Like so. I'm just going to pop them into my Eureka here. So, like I say, think about how you want them on your card. So you can do symmetrical. So one, two, three, if you want to. Or you can do diamond, totally up to you. You could do one that way, one that way, one that way. Um, I could do one here. So it's 
offset into the bottom corner, one here, offset into the bottom corner, and one here, offset into the bottom corner like so. And that's the way I'm going to do it today. So rather than stick to the norm, we're going to chop it up. So if you imagine that these are, could be die cut heart, you just need the die cut um, mat and layer heart that goes round. The, that's what's going to make this design pop. So as long as you've got a mat and layer, it doesn't matter what shape it is or how many components. So what I am going to do is I'm just going to place it where I'm happy. Hopefully it won't move. Now normally I would stick this down. Let's stick it down with a bit of low tack tape so it doesn't move. Because I would normally pop a bit of tape underneath, but I don't have my tape pen. Everything's packed for TV. Um, so I'm just going to use a bit of low tack tape here so hopefully it all doesn't move. So when I'm happy, I've got it all in play. Hopefully my stamp's not going to be encroached onto there. So, stamp, okay? So you're going to place your stamp in the area where you want the design to be. So I'm going to go, yes, let's... You could stamp centre, no. Let's go centre. Let's go there. And again, I don't think it really matters. I think that tape might be in the way there a little bit, but I'm okay with it. So let's. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my ink pad, ink up the stamp. Now remember, you are stamp stamping it onto three layers here of card. Okay, you really need to get into those crevices where it drops down in card, but it doesn't matter if it miss stamps because we've got our mat and layer, and that will hide it. Okay. So let's give this a good old push down. This is where you do have to put a little bit of your body weight onto get the design to come through. So you can see now we've got our design over those um, elements. I'm quite pleased with that one. So I'm just going to pick it up. I'm just going to get rid of that tape. Like so. And what I'm going to do is before I touch any of them, I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to give them a little bit of a blast with my gun. Mucky paw prints and all. Just make sure I've got everything I need. So normally you could just now mat and layer it and then build it up and you'll get your beautiful design. However, we're going to chop it up a little bit today. I'm just going to grab my watercolours here. So I'm going to get my mini one first. And I'm going to paint this in a sort of bluey colour. So just around the edge. See there, so I've got a nice tealy colour in there. Totally stepping out of the box today, guys. They do look, this technique looks beautifully not painted, but you've seen me do it not painted. There are videos on my channel seeing me 
doing them not painted. So hence the reason why today um, I'm totally doing different. I'm just adding some colour to the keys. So that's one. And I'm going to bring in my second one. And I'm going to do a totally different colour now. So let's have a think about the next colour. Go pink. It doesn't matter how far you go in because you're not going to see underneath here. And I think this is actually the base of my brighter. Like so. So we've got a blue, a pink. <laughs> there we go. And then our next one, let's do red. Or orange or coral. Don't worry if you miss if you don't paint some of the areas because you're not quite sure which bits marry up. When you put it all together, you'll see. I, mean, I don't do anything else because I'm not sure how it's going to marry up this. So I'm going to leave it as is. So let's just dry those off very quickly. As soon as it's all nice and dry, you start putting it together. So you remember our lovely matte and layers. So our first matte and layer, I'm going to go on here, look. You can see that there. And I've got a purple matte and layer today. It looks incredible in black, but as I said, I'm trying to um, step away from what we've done in the past. So um, I'm going to put the right blue here, yeah. these ones here quickly. So that's that one. Our next one. And this is going to go on here. So you can already see how this is going to be built up. So that's the pink. Then we have our next one. So, and then our last one, which has got no paint on it at all at the moment, because I'm not sure where it ends and starts. So let's start getting our card together. So let's go flat with the first one. And then let's build the rest up. So if you'd have done hearts in different shapes, sorry, in different composition, if I'd have done a twist design, the card would quickly come together in that twist design. So this is where the fun happens. So you just take your little piece, your little square first. Oh, 
and then you pop your little you just marry up that design I think I needed to come across a little bit there with the um, watercolour can you see I've got a lot I don't need to come a little bit yeah I need to come a little bit higher there we go so when you, oh no I did it quite low did I do it low how did I set it up guys there we go I think we'll go there that look like it's marrying off doesn't look right to me let's move it over there we go I did it offset didn't I there we go just needs I will fill this in with my pink watercolor so it pushes it along a little bit I might have to stamp or pen in that little bit of missing detail there and then our next piece We're going to marry up to this piece so if you remember we slightly offset it didn't we we pulled it down here so just move this out of the way if we, if we marry up this little rivet oh, this rivet with this here so i did it in the bottom corner didn't i take your time take your time you see and then our paper design matches at the top and that's where my tape was so i'll just have to finish that one and then this one and it was down here slightly in this corner wasn't it you see that there can you see now I'm just going to grab my pen yes this is probably darker than i've stamped it in but i'm just going to fill in those places where it's not quite um stamped can we see that there? so i just finished that design on there it's still a little bit wet any pieces where you've missed or you need to add detail you can add detail i just add a bit of shadow in there like the stamp does itself I need to just take that pink watercolor under there set that design one second let me just scratch onto some paper so just to marry it up a little bit there we go I'll just fill this in a little bit more Still a little bit wet I think and then i'll just dry that a little no i won't because it'll go all lumpy bumpy but then we just need to take our pink watercolor shall we do it hopefully that black won't bleed just fill in that bear away from my black pen work if i can't oh. And then I think I'm going to colour that paper in with three shades of colour as well so it doesn't look odd. I'm going to take this bit in the blue. And this is what I was saying the things, the parts that you're unsure, uncertain of, wait till you've got it together. And then you can sort of like, no way you're popping your ink then. And any areas you've sort of like misstamped, you can go in with your fine line and then add that detail if you want to. And then on the back one, we'll do a totally different colour because we haven't got a layer for that. We'll do this sort of big, bright, futury thing. And then I'm just going to take. Did I have a sentiment somewhere? I'm just going to take my acrylic block and I'm just going to stamp. Congratulations across the base here. And I'm just going to leave it absolutely white. No sparkles, no gems. Use the hand, everyone. I'm 
There we go. I, could add, I, might, I would have, might have added my sparkle pen over the top there. But they're two different cards, so the concept quite cool. Then mixing it up with a different shade of colour on each layer, sort of chopped it up a little bit, and then slightly offsetting it to the central squares to sort of the corner design um, is a change again. And this is what I'm saying about crafting. You'll see an idea. You can chop and change it and do as you please. Yes, and I like those two. Don't forget to pop a comment underneath this video. I'm giving all of the makes away from Live Studio for the Create Together event. Thank you so much. So that's that for now. So tomorrow there will be a pre-record for you at one o'clock using this lovely stamp. If you want to get involved, just go to the How to Craft Network Studio and pop in Create Together and we'll get that stamp sent straight out to you. Um, I'm live on Create and Craft tomorrow, 7.30, 4.30. If you do like lamination, don't hang about. That's all I'm going to say, because when it's gone, it's gone. End of. Moving on. And then I'm going to see you all at the Stamping Together Festival at the weekend as well. So whatever you're doing, have a lovely afternoon. Get your stamp out, post your makes on our Eureka fan page, and I'll be watching to see what everybody's doing. So take care, everyone. See you all later. Bye.